Looking for local foods? There's an app for that. Welcome back to At The Table. Sydney here, and today we are gonna be talking all about local foods. So when you think about local foods, what comes to mind to you? So it could be maybe things that are grown in your county. So if you're in Sampson County, things are grown right here in Sampson County. It could be things that are grown in North Carolina um, across the whole state, or it could even be things that are grown in the Southeast. So thinking of like Georgia peaches, or um, something like that. So we have a lot of diff different definitions when it, it comes to local foods. If you're closer to the end of the state, you might be right on the border um, of reaching another state. So for instance, if you're in Brunswick County, you might be right next to South Carolina. So local foods may even be the next state over for you. So we all kind of have different definitions of what local foods are, um, but here, uh, with North Carolina Cooperative Extension, we classify local foods as things that are grown in North Carolina. So we are gonna be talking about a couple of local foods that are grown here, a little bit more about local foods today, and I have a special guest joining me in just a little bit. Um, we're gonna get started with our recipe. This is a farmer's market frittata um, from the produce lady who is a popular, um, a popular, topic, I guess, amongst uh, Cooperative Extension. The Produce Lady has a lot of really great recipes that are focused on, of course, produce and local foods. Um, so uh, we're gonna get started. First thing that I have is broccoli, which is not necessarily local right now, but it is something that you can, of course, freeze broccoli um, and you can utilize it around the different times of years of the year. So sometimes we might have local foods that we, we can only get them at certain parts of the year, right? So you wanna think about how can we save some of these local foods, utilize them um, in other parts of the year when maybe they're not in season. So that might be freezing them or you could buy frozen, um, going that route as well. So we're not gonna use a ton of this. Um, we have about a cup of chopped vegetables. So. I'm just gonna do about that much. That way we don't have only broccoli in our frittata. The next thing is something that we have right now, which is zucchini. And I love zucchini and squash. Um, I feel like they just have really great flavor and you can add them to a variety of dish dishes. So again, we're only using about a cup. So I'm only gonna use couple slices of this zucchini. Now local foods is something that not only um, impacts us because when we're shopping local, we tend, the research actually says that we tend to um, eat healthier when we're choosing local foods. Local foods are not necessarily healthier um, by definition than your non-local foods, but research does say that people who are more conscious of choosing local do tend to eat more fruits and vegetables um, than those who do not. So, of course, that means it's pretty healthy, right? It's, pre it's a good thing. Um, when we're thinking about local foods in general um, and if we should choose local foods over non-local foods, our first priority is going to be eating healthy. So our goal is not necessarily um, that we have to make sure that everything that we're eating is local. Um, and if we can't find local, then we're not gonna eat very healthily, then that's not a good choice. So our first priority is healthy eating, um, whether that is things that are grown right here in North Carolina or things that are canned or frozen that you might find at the grocery store. So 
That should be number one. We're also going to use some tomatoes, and these are in season right now as well. Um, and there is something called the North Carolina 10% campaign. And that campaign um, really advocates for us to spend at least 10% of our food dollars on local foods. Again, local could be a variety of definitions. There's lots of different definitions for that. So it could mean things that are grown here, right here in Sampson um, or Bladen or Duplin, or it could be things that are grown um, in North Carolina in general. So committing to spending at least 10% of your food dollars to be focused on those local foods. And I love cherry tomatoes more so than the regular tomatoes for me personally because they just taste so sweet. And we're only gonna do about a quarter of a cup of these tomatoes. So these are in addition to that one cup of vegetables. So that's actually probably pretty good. And then we also have a um, quarter of a cup of onions as well. So I'm gonna get this all thrown into our pan. We'll see you guys back in just one second. Introducing the Star Communications app. All the tools you need in one convenient location. You can access Watch TV everywhere. Check local channel lineup. Check your Star email. View and pay your Star bill. Report troubles. Use your Star security app. Check your home voicemail. Sign up for CrowdFiber. Check your Wi-Fi speed. The list keeps going and going. Download for free from the App Store or Google Play. Hey guys, welcome back. So we have our veggies all chopped up. Got a quarter of a cup of onion that I've just added into our um, pan here. We're gonna throw all of this yummy stuff we just chopped up as well into our pan. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna actually chop this up a little bit further. I don't want a big giant chunk of broccoli in our egg. So um, I also have half a cup of chopped chicken. So we're gonna chop up, I've just got a, a chicken breast here. We're gonna use about half of that. So you can always cook, you know, a big chunk of chicken to have, um, for the week and use in a variety of recipes. I did switch this recipe up just a little bit. So I've got different spices just based on what I had here on hand. I also went the route of using um, olive oil instead of butter. It's just what I commonly use in cooking. I don't use a ton of butter personally um, unless I'm usually baking. That tends to be where my butter intake goes. Um, so, and olive oil's a great substitution for that. So a little bit of olive oil in our pan, maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. And um, we're just gonna let that cook up nicely. And we'll go ahead and add our seasonings. So I've got parsley flakes. Our recipe called for tarragon. Um, that is not I've heard of tarragon. I have yet to use tarragon. Um, it's not a very popular herb that we see in a ton of recipes. So it might be something that you don't necessarily have right on hand, and that is okay. You do what you enjoy. Y'all hear me say that all the time, You're probably sick of me saying it, but you use what you have, and we don't wanna make recipes more complicated than they need to be. A great thing about this recipe as well is that it uses, um, it gives you a variety. So it actually calls for a cup of chopped seasonal vegetables, which gives you the choice of what you wanna put in your frittata. So you have that flexibility of just what even sounds good. As I was thinking of things, this time of year, what's popular, when we think of an egg dish, my brain usually goes to peppers and onions, maybe mushrooms. 
Um, but I was trying to think of different things that might be more local right now. And of course, choosing those while at the store. So um, that is why we went with that zucchini for something a little bit different. Um, and you could also do something like sweet potatoes or corn. Um, might be a little different in your frittata, but you could always adjust it, switch it up, try something new, um, which will change up the flavor, of course. Okay, so we're gonna let that saute just a little bit. Um, what we have next is our eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those into our, our little bowl here. And mix those up. I love using fresh eggs. If you can find fresh eggs, or maybe you have um, your own coop that you can get some fresh eggs from that, that is great. I think they just taste so, so good. Um, now, if you are getting fresh eggs from someone else, they don't necessarily need to be refrigerated immediately. But once they have been refrigerated, they need to stay refrigerated. So my sister-in-law actually has um, a chicken coop and she gave my husband a, a carton of eggs one time. I was so excited. He didn't tell me about it. I found out later that he had just left them in his car. So of course, those are not gonna be good at, and it was a warmer month. So um, if something like that happens, unfortunately, you can't salvage those eggs. Um, bacteria does tend to grow especially at, at those higher temperatures. So we just had to discard them. But if you're having eggs at home, um, you can actually go the route of, you know, making, not refrigerating them immediately, but then making sure that you do eventually get them into the refrigerator. Throw this in. And I did turn our stovetop down We've got two more eggs, so I'm gonna add those. And so this is a very simple recipe where you can just throw this all together and then you let it sit for just a few minutes. You could also put this in the oven if you wanted to go that route. So you could start it in a pan similar to this and then transfer it. Uh, make sure that you're using an oven safe dish. You could transfer it to the oven to finish it off. So you could let it sit in your pan for just a minute to kind of warm up, um, get those eggs, or sorry, the sides starting to form and then throw it into your oven after that to cook. So we are gonna throw a little bit of cheese on top. I've got some goat cheese, and then we will throw our lid on top of that and let it sit for about six to eight minutes. So I'm gonna get this done. We've got a guest coming on next while this finishes cooking. So we'll see you guys back in just one minute. Experiencing slow internet? If you have a fast internet package, the problem is most likely your wireless router. With more devices using Wi-Fi, your wireless router may not be able to deliver the speed and coverage you need. We now have the leading solution to enhance your internet experience. Using small devices in a mesh network, these Wi-Fi appliances cover just about any size home so that all your devices can operate to their fullest potential. Whole home Wi-Fi from Star Communications. Get the most out of your internet connection. Hey guys, so we've got our uh, frittata cooking over here in our pan. I'm joined by Miss Eileen Coit, who is one of my co-workers and dear friends um, who works right here at our Cooperative Extension office in Sampson County. So thanks so much for joining us today, Thank you for Eileen. having me. She is our community development um, coordinator. Ag and Ag. local foods, community development. Yes, all those things. Yeah, so she does, she wears many hats. Um, and one of her big projects is the Visit NC Farms app. So I wanted to have her on to talk a little bit about the app. So what exactly is the Visit NC Farms app? Thanks, Sydney. 
I'm going to show you a quick picture um, on this card and you can see the sign behind me of the Visit NC Farms app. So uh, this is a resource that we have for our residents of all across North Carolina, but particularly here in Sampson County, when you're looking for local foods to purchase, to cook, you can find uh, different resources across Sampson County by using the app. So um, when you download the app on your phone, you've got different categories on here. And uh, if you go to, there's a section called Farmer's Markets, it'll actually show you where the local markets are in Sampson County where you can find local produce. Perfect. So that is really neat. Um, it'll tell you what their hours are, what the products are that they have. Um, just for example, we've got the Clinton City Market is the top one that pops up because that's the closest market to where we are right now. And you can see all these uh, little colors. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but these are the seasonal products that they have at the market right now. Oh, awesome. So um, all of our markets, I believe all of our markets are listed on here. If there's some that are not, um, we can certainly add them. We have um, in Sampson County, we have about 55 assets and an asset is either a local market, a local farm, uh, maybe a roadside stand or a store. And uh, so somewhere where you can I'll, shop. Basically. That's right. Okay. That's right. So you can shop local. Um, there's places on here that are pick your own. So like if you want to go pick blueberries, um, that's a that's a good resource on here. And then local food and drink. There's there's some crossover there between, you know, which ones are the markets which ones might be local businesses that also carry the local products. So um, lots of great places and resources here as you're in Sampson County. And then if you're traveling even outside of Sampson County um, to other counties uh, that are also on the app, you can find your, your produce and your food. That'd locally. be great. And I think about when, you know, it starts to cool down a little bit, maybe you go for a trip to the mountains and yes. apple season. So let's say you want to go to a pick your own apple orchard. You could use the app to find a local apple orchard as you're traveling. Um, Cause there's different parts of the state, of course, that grow specific things. Uh, and when we think about Sampson County, we have a lot that we grow. It's Southeast is kind of the breadbasket, yes. right? Definitely. We grow all kinds of stuff right here. Um, and what exactly is Sampson County known for? We have a couple different things, well, right? Sampson County, of course, is, is known for, um, we, have a lot of, we have a lot of hogs and turkeys grown here. So pork and, uh -huh. you know, and our turkey. We have a lot of chickens also. Um, but then when you, when you look at the local produce, um, we're, we're just wrapping up watermelon season. There's a lot of watermelons right here in our back door. Um, sweet potatoes is another um, product, uh, another vegetable that's grown in abundance here in Sampson County. Awesome, so we have really tasty stuff. There's also um, the NC 10% campaign, I mentioned that earlier. Okay. Um, and you can actually go to their website and you can print. Of course, the app is great because it shows you exactly what, the, what certain places have right at that moment. Um, but if you wanted to just see what is in season right now, um, what can you find at your, even your grocery store that might be a little bit more affordable and more in season, you can go to the NC 10% campaign and they have by month, which I really like. There's also one with the USDA that has a whole list and then different, it shows you per month kind of when these things are in season. Um, but I like this format a little bit better. It's so pretty. And it, it shows you specifically what you can find right now in this month. And I printed off August and September um, because we're approaching September very quickly. And it's good to see what all of those yummy foods will be in season as well. Um, so there's tons of resources right here. And I love that we have the app and that you've, she has worked so hard to, to get some, um, some folks to join the app so that our community can find those people. It's really, marketing is tough. And I know that is something that farmers um, definitely could struggle with. I think about myself just trying to market my own programs and it is tough to, to really get the word out about what you're doing. So this is a great way to have everything all in one spot uh, where people can find it 
right from your phone very quickly, Definitely. very easily, um, and see other folks. So I thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for letting me join you. And, and hopefully you can have a little bit of this frittata when we get finished. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. We'll see you guys back in just one second. After completing my contract, I still have to buy out of it. Come on, here's your sign. Switch to the sign that's keeping home secure and customers happy all over the area. Security from Star Communications. We pride ourselves on fair pricing and quick, friendly service every time. Somebody try to break into this place? Security from Star Communications. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I did want to mention really quick um, if you are a farmer or if you would like to be an asset to the NC Farms, visit NC Farms app, let us know. Um, Eileen is always going out, trying to meet with new community, community men, members who want to join the app. So if you're interested in that, reach out to our Cooperative Extension office and get in touch with Eileen. She would love to help you with that. Um, so our frittata is done. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's got great color. The goat cheese just melts nicely, but not completely on top of your frittata. So um, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut into this real quick. And you can cut this into kind of quarters. I'm gonna go the route of like slices. And one thing I also did was, I, um, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, I did six eggs instead of the four. So our recipe called for four eggs. If you had a smaller pan, that would probably be great. Um, your egg could fit, cover more of your, of your veggies that way. I did not have a smaller pan. I had this, this size here. So we went with six eggs and you can always adjust the recipe if you're feeding more people. So four eggs was for four people. This would be about six people, although I just cut it into eight slices, so you could possibly feed eight people. Um, so we'll say six to eight for this, for us. But we'll just go ahead and get a nice slice out here. Looks so good, so pretty. Um, and we'll give it a little bite. And it's perfect. So um, the eggs really bring out the flavor of the vegetables and the goat cheese is a little bit different. So if you are I'm trying to do an egg dish that's a little bit different than just your traditional eggs that you have in the morning. Goat cheese gives it that creaminess. And a lot of goat cheese is, we can find goat cheese in um, North Carolina. So I think there's a couple farms locally here or not quite too far from us here in Sampson County um, who have goat cheese. So look at the app, check out the Visit NC Farms app and look for that. In terms of what's in season right now, um, we do have a couple different things. So um, in August, we have apples, Brussels sprouts, butter beans, cantaloupe, carrots, corn, cucumbers, eggplant, field peas, figs, which is one of my favorite things. Um, my coworker has a fig tree. He always brings me some. I think figs are a delicacy because you can't get them in the grocery store. So it's something you really have to find um, a local person who is growing those in order to get them, which is why it's just such a treat to me for fresh figs. We also have garlic, grapes, green beans, green peppers, honeydew, hot peppers, um, leafy greens, okra, peaches, peanuts, pears, plums, raspberries, rutabaga, spring onions, squash, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, and watermelon. So big old list. These are all things that we have here in North Carolina this type of month. Of course, it can depend on where you live as to if those are available to you. Um, and we, we try to shop local for many reasons. So not only is it's getting access to fresh fruits and vegetables, um, in the, on the app there are also people who sell tea, seafood. So I know Tyndall Seafood is on the Visit NC Farms app for Sampson County. We also have a couple farmers who um, have meat as well. So if you're looking for fresh local meat, you can use that app to access that as well. Um, but not only do, does it get you to that fresh local foods, it also just gives us this sense of community. So whether we are 
working in a community garden or um, attending a farmer's market and participating in shopping at a local farmer's market, you get this sense of community uh, where we all kind of have this common purpose, a common goal to support our local people and to get good local foods. So that is one thing that when we're thinking about local foods, community is just so important. Um, and then that, of course, economic impacts that we get on it as well. By supporting those farmers, if we're going to a farmer's market, you might be encouraged to buy something else local. So I think about downtown, um, we have a farmer's market downtown. You might go from one, go from the farmer's market over to get some coffee or to shop at another local store to help support our local businesses. So shop local, check out the Visit NC Farms app, the NC 10% campaign. Check us out here at our Extension office. We have great resources if you're trying to connect with our local um, agriculture. So thanks so much. Hope you enjoy your frittata and we'll see you guys back next time at the table.